Okay, so it should be good. And we're on the way to the salt fields now. It's a bit lovely. So this is the salt farm. Are you small? No, sir. I'm gonna try the salt. Yeah, yeah. Try. And they did natural, all, no chemical. And then yeah, nice. salt. One. So we've just come out of the salt exhibition, and I tried some salt. And it was salty. Nah, it was really strong though. But the man told us that these fields here will fill up a whole barn full of salt. I'm not sure how long it lasts, but that is a lot of salt. And, uh, so it comes straight, they pump the sea salt, uh, the sea water straight into the fields, and then it runs down, that's how they make the salt. And then we've just watched the ladies picking out certain granules, which I'm not quite sure why. I think it's to do with size and bugs. And uh, it's all naturally made, no chemicals. here first, which is kind of really slippy, to see it, so wish us luck. Then go along, yeah, what's the point in us if I never know, yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go. We have an hour and a half here, and then a trip to Kep, which is I think an hour in the so it's quite long. So this looks really good, and we'll show you right now. Dan's got a bad belly today, so he's departed to the gents' room. I would not want to be in there right now. Where my demons dwell, my own little nightmare, I call it hell. Oh well, it's time to get back up. Climbing and climbing, I'm done with this ride It's what I tell myself So I could feel something else Yeah, I guess I had my bad days But it doesn't mean I lost myself Darling, where were you when my heart was on the ground? from Kerala, south of India. And it grow well in the forest along the trees. After that plant were transported and grown in the tropical area, such as in Brazil, Madagascar, and Soviet Asian countries. The pepper is very good for digestion and it also can help to prevent cancer and other diseases. And it was uh, brought by Chinese, uh, uh, they was brought to Cambodia by Chinese during a certain century. All right, we're gonna test all uh, all of these peppers. This one is a camphor pepper. Camphor pepper. We have salted, white, red, and black. This first one we tried the salty pepper. It's salty, soft, and a little bit moist, and it's also spicy. This one smells like olive. And when we chew it at the beginning, it's soft and it's salty. And we don't use it during cooking. We just bring on the top of the dish without cooking. It's very nice. Mm. Mm. You can see it like snap. Like chip. Eat it. Pork, chicken, and fish is it. 
Oh, you don't look very sure. I've tasted that before, like I've recognised the taste. I give you the recipe. <laughs> this stinks. Oh. Smell it. Stinks. <laughs> it's nice, but it's weird. Yeah, it smells like raisins. From Australia, really weird texture. Yeah, it's sort of like a. Gambuji. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like a little bit of 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 now we're about to go get back on the tuk-tuk and drive to Kep, which is an hour drive mm -hmm. on a bumpy road. <laughs> so, Sorry. hopefully it'll be alright. See you then. Alright, so we're at the last stop of our tour of Kampot and we've actually come to Kep now, which is about half an hour away and we've come to the beach so we're walking down to the beach now and we're all gonna get in the water because it is hot so we're going there now time at the beach and the two children have decided to dig a hole they've chickened out because we found like a jellyfish in the sea what have you found i really don't know if it's worth my time getting up we found treasure for you girls we found a brick no it's treasure for you girls right thanks yeah thanks for that the boys have made some friends. It's a well interested lesson. I think Jordan's on moat duty by the looks of it. I'm digging. Dan's um, apparently digging, but I'm not sure if that qualifies. This is the moat. It doesn't look yeah. very tropical. Oh. oh. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness! There's his heart! Is that big enough hole? They're playing with their friend in the sea. <laughs> oh, he's loving it. So we finished on the beach and we're back in Tuk Tuk now. We are going to head back to Kampot. It's been a no good day. We've got some drone footage on the beach, which is really good. Please, please. And we're going to get back at Summer Jordan's place, maybe wait a bit and then go for dinner. So we'll see you then. Now back at Summer Jordan in the pool. We're just going to chill here now until probably dinner. Wash off the sand and stuff. Now they're playing Marco Polo. Oh, my God. 
so we're at dinner and we're back at the magic sponge and the guy has told us that today anything we spend every dollar we spend is a free beer so when we're spending like 20 dollars between me and jordan we're gonna have 20 pints for free so happy days probably about to get smashed but we're gonna play some pool maybe some mini golf and uh should be good we're now going to play mini golf. I am the pink ball, of course. Good shot, Soph. Okay guys, so we've just spent $18 on food. We're getting 18 beers. Go, 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 go. That's nine each because me and Sam are probably won't drink it. I don't I'm think free. he's getting home tonight. He I'm, can't I'm handle his drunk. alcohol. I'm Dan's piggybacking all of us home. Cheers, people. Cheers, my dears. The yum. Oh, okay, it's not that yeah. We are quite a few drinks down now. Jordan's still got five left. Really? Oh. Oh. There's summer's four as well. Right? I am making it for them. Do I come to the goddamn drink? It could be purple, it could be pink. Pen in an eye, you make stage. 